Hello everyone and welcome to another MK Mobile video. Today guys, let's talk about the Shira Hill Tower, the next upcoming tower that's gonna be available on the game, okay? The Daniel Tower is off some days. So today, let's talk about all the info about the Shira Hill Tower I repeat, the first repeating. Let's talk about the gears, of course. Let's start talking about it. How, when the tower comes up. Just a reminder, I believe it's the tower gonna come in the Tuesday on the 14th, okay? So, two days after this video launch, the, the tower gonna be available. Yes, as a tower repeat, it's only available a fatal version of the tower. Why the normal tower did not come up? Because every tower repeats, only the fatal one comes. The normal do did not come. Because Shirai Hill Tower have two towers, the normal one and the non-fatal tower and the fatal tower was available on the update 2.7 on July of the last year. Okay, so it's the first repeat. And with the tower repeats, they have a shorter duration, like just three weeks is about 21 days of tower. So you almost can maybe beat the tower three times. Depends of the what, depends on what, because if it, if you are first time playing, I think you can only beat two times and go to the match 100 on the round 3, because you can play, if you spend souls to speed up the matches, you can play 650 matches, because you multiply the days and the matches are gonna play. If you don't pay souls, you can play 205 matches, so it's almost not impossible to beat the tower without spending souls. Why? Because I need to beat 200 matches to beat the tower. Yes, but bosses you take more attempts. Like example, you need 200 matches to beat, but you need some matches, extra matches to bosses because some some matches you need to three, four attempts to beat this. So this is why you don't need exactly 200 matches. So let's talk about first the equipment that the, this tower gives. We have on this tower 4 epics, 3 uncommons and 3 hairs. Uh, and the total 10 gears. So we have the brutalities of these gears. The Jade brutalities, okay, you need 2 epics of her. The Liu Kang brutality set, you have you need 1 epic and 1 hair gear. And the Scorpion brutalities as well, you need 1 hair gear and 1 epic gear. So, the first one is Fire Guarding Bell, is an uncommon gear, okay? You have more critical hit chance boost and 100 basic damage against people affected by fire. Just a reminder, all the, all the gears and common gears are accessory, okay? And they have damage boost, of course, same as the others, and the healthy boost. The second one is Survival Memories, you have 100 resist to fire, so you become immune to fire, okay? Gonna be great to deal with the Inferno modifier and 50 more attack based damage boost, okay? The third one is this, the best in come of this tower, you have more toughness boost and at the first one active gear, you heal by fire dots and you get power from fire. The fire dots removes power from your character and removes health, but when you use the secret scrolls, your character heal by fire and instead of losing power to the fire dot, he get power back stand. So this is the best come of this tower. Let's go for the Scorpion Brutality set. You need the Spectre Fena chance. You have chance to apply fire on the special one and you have a boost. Fire boost damage, okay? At Fusion X, you can put the example if your opponent try to tag out, you have 50% chance to bring him back the match and apply stun. Also works for Scorp is Scorpion and Smoke, but it need to be max added. And the Epic gear for Scorpion is a armor you can get on to match 200 and the, on the random drops of course. 100% chance to apply fire on special attacks 3 times. You're gonna see some fireballs on side of the character. This means every fireball is one special that you're gonna apply fire. If you have 3 fireballs, you can apply 3 fire on special. So this is okay. This effect, first effect. The second one is 20 plus 20. 4 chance to apply fire and block. When you block specials or basic attacks, you have chance to apply fire to your opponent. And at Fusion X, use explodes and flames defeated. 
so this deal damage to all your opponents and apply fire to all of them. So this is the epic of your Scorpio to do the brutality, okay? Now let's talk about the Liu Kang brutality set. The first one is Champions on Chaco. You have chance to apply fire on basic attacks while it's a nightmare on the last tower because of the, the fire god Liu Kang is almost immortal. Damage against auto world characters, okay, amazing. And on the fusion axe to Liu Kang. When it mid tags in, Liu Kang throws a fireball from the sidelines, dealing 500 of his basic attack damage with 15% chance to apply fire, so this is insane. This gear is amazing to apply fire on basic attacks. This gear makes also Fire God almost immortal, as you can see on the Fatal 200 Adenium Tower match, okay? So this is the epic of Liu Kang. And the here is armor. Champion Little Braces, you have more recovery boost, insane recovery boost, have chance to be in Little Blow Immunity, okay? And at Fusion X, damage boost when use effect by fire, locks at Fusion X. And the Jades, and another gear that is not a brutality gear is the Muramasa Blade. You increase your basic attack chance to 45% chance, and your attack boost to 20, so this is the Muramasa, it's not a brutality gear, okay? And the Jade, Jade is the only character in the game that you need two epic gears for her brutality. I don't have the another, but let's talk about this. This Adenian Force Detector Field is great to smoke because this guy apply blind on, on his passive and classic Jade, of course. Opponents affected by blind have a chance to miss specials, have some extra health boost only for the tower. And at the Fusion X, 50 risk. Reads to all debuffs. Debuffs are the bad effects like Power Drain, Stun, Cripple, Curse, and all the others, okay? And the other gear that I don't have, did not get from the first edition of the Shirai Tower is the Adenia Bracelets. It's the another epic for Jade Brutality set. You have 50 more special attack 2 damage boost, you have 40% power generation boost, and at the Fusion Max, this gear. When Jade get killed, she tag out to avoid her death, so it's almost one gear to give her uh, extra life. Where you can get those rewards? You can get them playing on the towers. I'm gonna show you now all the tower rewards from the matches. Just to remind this from bosses matches, okay? On the match 20, you have you get a random gold character. On the match 40, you get a common gear. On the match 60, you get a random gold character. On the match 80, you get a common gear. On the match 100, you get a random diamond card. Just a reminder, you cannot get Classic Rain, Fire God Liu King, and the old the Nightmare team, of course, on this match, okay? It's not dropped on those matches. You can also get MK11 Rain because he was dropping on the Edenian Tower. Match 120, a common gear. Match 140 random gold character. Match 160 on 180 a random gold character again. And on the match 200, you get a free one epic gear. Can be the Champions of Chaco, the Edenian Bracelet, Spectre Bunny Vengeance, and the Edenian Vector Field. And a free random Diamond Scorpion can be MK11 Scorpion. Cold Wise Scorpion, Strike Force Scorpion, or Hell's Paul Scorpion. One of them. And the hair gear. Guys, how I said, the normal tower will not be available, so you can only get the hair gear, the guaranteed hair gear, on the match 110. Just on the normal tower, the no fatal tower. The only tower gonna, gonna come up is, is the fatal, so it's not uh, possible to have guaranteed hair gears. If you don't have the brutality set, you need to have a look with the random drops to give you the hair gears of the Scorpion and the Liu Kang. Yes. This is a problem. So you have you can play, I believe. I have said you you're gonna spend four thousand and two hundred souls speed up until the end of the tower because you can play by twenty one days. The tower gonna be but I believe it's gonna end on the four of the October, so just 21 days, just counter on your calendar, okay? So guys, this is just an informative video you guys to talk about the Shira Hill Tower, don't worry, I'm gonna be bringing, of course, 
guides to you how to beat with gold characters how every tower I do to help you guys that don't have max set diamonds I'm gonna be bring of course my main account all the matches the matches of course and with my beginner account the account from zero to help you to beat those matches with gold this tower is not too hard the most problem for in my opinion is the match 180 because of the modifier dumping your character is gonna power generate less it's gonna be a problem because strikes for scorpions one of your opponents so this guy uses special 2 this guy gonna heal himself and of course his passive he can save teammates from that blow so it's gonna be a problem but I believe he, I can build strategy to help you guys of course thanks so much for my video see you in the next video goodbye and just like a soldier, I keep on moving forward, always getting closer, I'm marching till it's over.